In the first tutorial of this logo series, we called out the different types of logos. Now, some logos have text and some don't. If you add text to your logo, like your company name or tagline, you'll likely need different versions to support different needs. Think about a logo on a horizontal business card versus a bag. You can fit the logo text horizontally on the card, but to get it as big as we want on the bag, it runs into the sides. So you need to create a different version for the bag. In design, these different versions of text placement are called logo lockups. Now in this last tutorial of the Make a Logo series, you'll explore ways to add impactful text to logo art that matches your brand's identity. Then you're gonna experiment with different ways to position the text next to your logo. Now before you try adding text to a logo yourself, let's explore some key concepts you should know. Now you might already know how to add text, but because it's a logo, you need to make sure the text represents your brand. This means you'll likely need to change the text formatting to get the right look you need. The first thing you should consider is picking the right font. Just like your brand, fonts possess personalities like friendly or calligraphic or fun or clean. Depending on what you're going for, you can experiment to find the one that fits. If you don't have a specific font in mind, in the properties panel, you can filter the fonts based on appearances like serif, sans serif, or even handwritten to find the one you want. You can then select that perfect font from the list. You've probably heard the terms serif and sans serif. Well, as a general rule, serif is used for long form text, while sans serif fonts are used for more quick, clear communication with maybe a few words. Now the Bibli brand is modern and fresh, so we chose a sans serif font that conveys the same feeling. Now that you've chosen a font, the next thing to think about is spacing. What do we mean by spacing? We mean how far apart the letters and lines in your text are. Because logos usually only have one line of text, we care about the spacing between the letters, and that's called tracking. When you increase spacing, your text looks airy and luxurious, while reducing it makes it look unified and urgent. Once you've got a look for the text you like, you can now experiment by placing it next to the logo art to create the first of many possible lockups. For this lockup, which is meant to be used in a vertical ad, we think the text would fit and look best below the art. We want the art to be centered with the text. So with them both selected, we can use the built-in alignment options in the properties panel to center them. But you'll notice that the text still doesn't look perfectly aligned. That's because the art is an interesting shape. So you can nudge it with the arrow keys until it looks visually aligned. So let's recap. You'll likely need to use your logo for many different purposes. If it includes text, you'll need to change the placement of the text depending on how you use it. Now you can choose and format your text in a few different ways to match the personality of your brand. Then use alignment options to position the logo and text based on the logo lockup you're creating. Now it's your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions so you can practice adding text to a logo to make lockup variations.